एवरीवन वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स आई एम नेहा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज झालावाड़ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वी हैव रीच टू आर थर्ड यूनिट दैट इज अबाउट द ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कनेक्शन लेस अबाउट यू प्रोटोकॉल टी प्रोटोकॉल विच इज़ बेसिकली अ कनेक्शन ओरिएटेड ट्रांसपोर्ट प्रोटोकॉल एंड रिमोट प्रोसीजर कॉल कंजेशन कंट्रोल रिसोर्स एलोकेशन इशूज़ इन रिसोर्स एलोकेशन क्यूइंग डिसिप्लिन एंड टी सी पी कंजेशन कंट्रोल एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल स्टडी सो विल स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर वॉट इज़ एक्चुअली द ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर सो इट इज़ बेसिकली योर फोर्थ लेयर फ्रॉम टॉप ऑफ योर ओ एस आई मॉडल so transport layer is basically responsible for the delivery of a message from one process to the another process so a process is basically an application program running on a host so your host can be your pc can be your cell phones can be your laptop an application can be like the apps that you use like whatsapp facebook youtube etc these are the various uh, applications a process in an application that is running on a host or ha- host can be anything and it uh, it deals with source to destination delivery source to destination delivery means a uh, computer runs several programs at the same time for this reason source to destination delivery means not only from one computer to the next but also from one specific process on one computer to a specific process on the another the transport layer header must therefore include a type of address called a service point address in the osi model and port number or port address in the internet and tcp ip protocol suit so i will explain this thing with an example so suppose uh, i want to send some message here i am taking two users so first user is having whatsapp and the another user has whatsapp and telegram both this is just an example okay in example in this i am using the host as your cell phones not as a computer okay so uh, this person first person wants to send hello through your whatsapp messenger okay through your whatsapp messenger so uh, but this person b to which it, it is sending it is using the telegram so this telegram application or this process cannot open the message that is sent through the whatsapp okay for this thing the person has to open the whatsapp app application whatsapp application to read this message as hello although you can get the notification that is a different feature but still you cannot find this message in your telegram so this is basically known as source to delivery uh, source to destination delivery not host to host if i talk about host to host delivery means this hello message has been sent to the this user but it has to be opened only in your whatsapp messenger all right so your uh, transport layer protocol it can be your uh, connection oriented or it can be your connection less so a connection less transport layer treats each segment as an independent packet and delivers it to the transport layer at the destination machine for example your udp protocol is a connectionless protocol another type is your connection oriented so it makes a connection with the transport layer at the destination machine first before delivering the packets after all the data is transferred the connection is then been terminated okay so the example of this is your tcp protocol and sctp protocol they use this connection oriented type of transport layer so in udp protocol uh, while your packets basically your message is divided into small small packets and those packets are known as your datagrams so the user datagram protocol udp is connectionless and unreliable transport protocol okay it does not add anything to the service of the ip except to provide process to process communication okay uh, it makes the best effort to deliver the segment uh, there is no handshaking between sending and receiving transport layer entities so uh, 
in this case it will try the best effort to send the segment but if it is not received it can be uh, you know labeled as being lost because there is no handshaking and there is no confirmation there is no acknowledgement between your uh, sender and the receiver okay uh, and it performs very very limited error checking so you must be thinking that the there are so many disadvantages with this udp protocol but still it is very popular and being used why this is used the biggest advantage of of using this UDP, udp protocol is minimum overhead means it requires only 8 byte of your header whereas in tcp ip the uh, header itself is very big like 20 bytes it is so uh, when you need when you have a very small uh, you know uh, space is very less and you want to when you have to handle a large amount of data and you are so much worried about the space about the memory then you go for this UDP protocol. All right, when uh, you do not need any sort of acknowledgement and handshaking between your sender and receivers, then you go for this UDP protocol. One example of this is multicasting. Okay, so for multicasting, for example, if you are using the YouTube, so okay, so there is no handshaking sort of thing or there is no uh, anything which requires to uh, you know save your last status and all. So for such uh, for such applications we use this UDP protocols it is also being used for your SN, uh, SNMP and your routing information protocol DNS is also an example uh, of a protocol that uses your uh, UDP all right so we'll talk about the header UDP packet also known as the datagrams have a fixed side size header of 8 bytes so how this 8 bytes are uh, divided so like you can see your uh, header is having 8 bytes and the rest of it contains the data so your header 8 bytes are uh, like divided into four parts so first one is your source port number so it is of 16 bits your destination port number is of 16 bits your total length uh, is of 16 bits and checksum bit is of 16 bits all are of 16 bits so you can see your one byte has 8 bits so you can calculate it will uh, it will give out to your 8 bytes so uh, your source can be your client or a server your destination port again can be a, your client can be your client or a server the total length of the user datagram is header plus your data. Jitna bhi data hai, uska jitna bhi bytes hai and aapke jo header ke fixed 8 bytes hai, that gives the total length and the next is your checksum bit. Checksum bits are very important for uh, checking the error. Although the uh, disadvantage of, of UDP is it can detect the error. Okay, ke sare ke sare bits transfer huye ki nahi huye. It can tell ke pura uh, data mere paas uh, receiver pe receive hua hai ki nahi but wo usko thik nahi kar sakta it cannot correct those data it can only tell about the error okay so it provides error detection to determine whether bits within the segment has been altered as it as it moved from source to the destination okay wo change to nahi ho gaya hai bits wo batayega aapko check some bit and uh, UDP at the center side performs the once complement of the sum of all the 16 bit words in the segment with any overflow encountered during the sum being wrapped around. This result is put in the checksum field of the segment. So we'll discuss this how this checksum bit is actually doing the process. Okay. So uh, we have a at sender and at sender end. Uh, we'll take example like we'll sum two 16 bit words so these are two 16 bit words I've just I have just taken one example and uh, uh, I have given this space this space is actually is not there when the data is stored it is just for the understanding you can see after four four bits I have given one space so it is just for understanding and ke calculation mistake now ho because it is you know very uh, means <laughs> it becomes very confusion when you have to deal with only with 0 and 1 all right so you add these so I have done the sum and you after doing the sum uh, you have this one extra bit so this extra bit is uh, uh, this add is carry forward and it, it is again being sum 
and you'll get this final sum and then you take one's complement and this one's complement is known as your check sum this is basically the one's complement of the final sum that you get here and this is known as your check sum let's see what happens at the uh, receiver end at receiver we have the same process for the two 16 bit words we'll do we'll perform that same addition operation and same sort of things okay so these 16 bit uh, so these uh, two words okay of 16 bits are what is received at receiver okay so we'll do we'll do the sum and then finally this is the sum and with this we'll add this check sum ye check sum ka jo value humne sender pe tha usko hum add karenge and if you are getting all as ones final result if all are one means there is no error in the bits suppose if any of this bit is zero that means that bit has been altered or change ho gaya hai so then we have to go and check for it but uh, udp process will not correct it it will only tell if there is error or if there is no error thank you very much